Hello, my friends. Welcome. Well, it is Spellbinders Club Kit release time. I always get so excited when the beginning of the month comes around and we get to play with all of the new club kits from Spellbinders. This month, I'm breaking tradition a little bit. I'm going to start with a clear stamp and die of the month for my first video. I usually do the card kit of the month, but the Clear stamp and die of the month was so outstanding. I just had to immediately sit down and play with this. <laughs> so here it is. It's called Stitched Color Wheel. And you can buy the stamp on its own, but this month I highly recommend getting the dies with it. So you get to stamp out and die cut this beautiful color wheel. You also get lots of cute sentiments, and I will show you a close up of that in just a minute. That's what we're going to be playing with today. Next up is the small die of the month. And if this looks familiar, this is similar to one that they released last year. This one is called Stitched Hello. And if you like stitching, this is another beautiful stitched die. For the large die of the month, you get one called Stitched For You. And look at this beautiful you sentiment. You can stitch on this or I have other options for you in an upcoming video. And then it comes with lots of coordinating sentiments as well as the outline for these sentiments. But it's really neat because all of the alphabet letters are separate. So super fun and a really cute font. And you get quite a few. This is a large set this month. But here they are. You can make birthday cards, hello cards, and thank you cards. And then finally, I have the embossing folder of the month. This one is called Faux Stitch, and it coordinates beautifully with all of these uh, club kits because you get these really cute faux stitched flowers or stars on this folder. And it's such a nice large size. Okay, so let's get into the clear stamp and die of the month for May of 2022. I'm going to be creating six cards with this set and I could have just kept going on and on and on. This is such a fun set. So let me pull out my embroidery floss. It's kind of a mess here. This is everything I own and it fits pretty well in this small bin. I do need to organize them but this set can help me with that because one of the dies cuts out a really cute embroidery floss bobbin. But here is the stitched color wheel die. You can use it by itself or with the stamp. And this is what I'm going to use for card number one. I'm going to make a cute color wheel rainbow. I'm going to pick out some embroidery floss in the various rainbow colors. I'm going to need eight colors. So I am going to include a pink. So I'm glad that it has eight sections to this color wheel so that I can include a little bit of pink. Go ahead and decide which green. And then I'm just trying to find a pretty blue. And I decide to go with the more tealish blue. And then I need a good purple and a pink. But I'm slowly adding to my embroidery floss collection, and it is quite a jumble <laughs> at the moment. So I'm going to find, find my embroidery needle. And let's get started. I'm going to make sure I use some heavyweight cardstock for this. If you don't have a 110 pound or higher, you can cut out two with a lighter weight cardstock and even just glue it together to make it more heavyweight. Look at this cute embroidery floss bobbin die cut. I'm going to glue two of these together even though they are the heavyweight, just to make it nice and sturdy, almost like a chipboard. And it even has the little cut at the top so you can put the end of the thread there. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can use this to organize your embroidery floss. So let me find some embroidery floss that is in need of a little bit of help. <laughs> okay, here's some pretty pink embroidery floss. Just going to find the end. This bobbin will help to keep it from getting even more tangled. And this is a really silky embroidery floss that I, I've used before in previous cards. But let's just start wrapping it around this bobbin. Once you reach the ends, you just put it in the little slit at the top of the bobbin. So that is so 
fabulous. I mean, you can buy these bobbins at the store, but why not buy the die and then you can make as many bobbins as you'd like. Okay, I'm going to thread my embroidery floss. I like to pinch it between my fingers, make it nice and flat, and then I can just pull it through the eye of the needle very easily. So this is three strands of the embroidery floss, and then I'm folding it in, in half so that it's doubled, so it's really six strands. And then at the end, I have the fold. So I'm just going to show you one round of this. I'm going to pull the embroidery floss through the bottom and then go through the first hole on the left. And then I can use the loop at the end of the embroidery floss. I'll push the thread through the loop and that just holds the floss nicely in place. I learned this little trick from Jennifer McGuire. However, if you prefer taping it or gluing it, you can of course do whatever you'd like. Then I can just continue on with my embroidery work. And I'm going to go back into the first hole, just so I have a line running across the top of this. And I go back into the second hole again, and then down into the bottom hole. And I just do this across the first panel of this color wheel. And again, I'm going to go into the third hole now. I'll go back to the second hole. This is just kind of a back stitching that I'm doing here. I'll go up the third hole again. And then down to the bottom hole. And the holes are pretty wide so that you can fit six strands of floss. Most of the time I use about three strands of the embroidery floss on my paper stitching. You can stitch up this color wheel pretty fast and it was really fun to do. And then of course I'll go on next with the red and so forth around this panel. But I'm going to weave in my ends. Just going back and forth with the needle. And then I can just trim off the end. You could even tie it in a knot or add a little bit of glue if you're uncertain about your ends coming out. I'm going to add a lot of foam adhesive to this once I'm done, so I'm not too worried about my ends coming out. Okay, so here's a close-up look at the finished panel. I have seven more to do, and here it is all done. Isn't that just gorgeous? There's so much you can do with this die set. And since creating this panel, I had to go out to my local hobby shop and buy some more <laughs> embroidery floss. It's fairly inexpensive. And I just added a bunch more colors to my collection. I needed a bunch of pinks because my card number two, I'm going to use different colors of pink around this wheel. I also bought some pretty silver and gold embroidery thread or floss. Okay, so let's continue on with card number one. I'm going to stamp out the embroidery floss bobbin next. I'm just going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp it onto this white cardstock. I'll also stamp out a sentiment while I'm at it. And then I will use the coordinating dies to cut these out. Here's the bobbin. These stamps are really nice photopolymer stamps. And then the sentiment is going to say, Stitched with Love. I end up stamping that out one more time. I didn't like how the first stamping turned out. And these sentiments fit perfectly at the bottom or the top of your bobbin. So let's tape the dies in place so they don't shift when I run it through my die cut machine. And next for the sentiment. I love it when the sentiments come with dies as well. Okay, I'm just going to cut this down a little bit so I can easily run it through my machine. And I'll take this off camera. And here they are, all done. So in my embroidery floss collection, I have a lot of leftover bits and bobs of floss. 
This is a great way to use up your little leftover scraps. But first, let's attach our gray panel to our card base. This is made from the new cardstock called Lunar Gray. And I cut it out with a Spellbinders hem stitch die. Okay, so I'm going to start at the slit of this bobbin and then just start twisting them around the bobbin. All of my little scraps. I'm going to glue it in place. This will be hidden at the back. And then I can add more scraps around this bobbin until it's kind of full. I don't want to waste a lot of embroidery floss doing this. But again, it's a great way to use up your little scraps. And this is the same pink that I used for my first color. I'll just glue that in place and trim the end. I'm popping this up with foam adhesive and I'll attach it to the top of this card. It looks really pretty on this neutral gray color. And then I'll add some foam adhesive to the bobbin as well. And then I'll attach this at the bottom of the card. I'll attach the sentiment on my color wheel. And then I am going to pull out a large gemstone to add in the center of my color wheel. These are called Spectrum. I'm using the largest one. The sentiment, I'm just going to use glue. I'll pull out my tweezers here so I can see where I want to attach this. And then just press it down. I decided to stamp out another sentiment at the bottom of the bobbin. And here is the finished card. I added a few more gemstones around this panel as well. But isn't that just adorable? Such a fun set. And now for card number two. So I did most of the embroidering on my color wheel already. I used eight different colors of pink. And then I decided to add a little bit of gold embroidery floss in the center of the color wheel. And now I'm just adding a line of the gold just across the top of each panel. I'm just doing a back stitch here. For my panel behind this, I'm using some Dahlia Pink cardstock and the embossing folder of the month. Isn't that just delightful? <laughs> I love the look of that. I'll glue this down with some liquid glue and I did cut it down so that it has a nice white border around the edges. You can of course use either side. I always seem to use the side that that pops up that's embossed, not debossed. I'll press that into place. I'm using more foam adhesive behind this color wheel. And this is a project that you can die cut ahead of time and then take with you when you're on the go and just sit in embroidery while you're waiting for your car oil to be changed or a kid's soccer game or whatever. So it's super fun to do. Okay, this one's going to be a landscape orientation card. I'll put my color wheel at the left and my embroidery bobbin at the right. I'll die cut the sentiment. And this time I'm just going to attach it to the bottom of the bobbin. I use some of the gold floss at the top of the bobbin. I'm just going right over the floss ends. <laughs> and now for some gems. I use the sentiment again that says stitched with love. These are great cards just to send out anytime. And here is a close-up look at the finished card. I love that little touch of gold. And then I used gold gemstones to add accents around the panel. Okay, on to card number three. This time I'm using the stamped image of the color wheel. I do stamp it out several times because this is a new stamp. And once it's nice and dark, I can go ahead and pull this out of my mini Misty and start stamping some more. I'm going to use the little triangle stamp in this set and stamp a rainbow around the color wheel. I'll pull out some scrap paper just to test it. 
Again, this is a new stamp, so I want to condition it a little bit by stamping it a few times, or at least once. So we'll start with red. And this was a fun process to do. Then I'll just continue on rainbow order around this color wheel. I'm using my new Positively Saturated Inks from Simon Says Stamp. I'm loving these inks. I chopped out just the essential bits to the, on this part of the video so you could just see the colors being put down. This is a fun process to watch. And then my last color will be a pretty pale purple using some Memento Teardrop Ink Cubes. And here it is. Isn't that fun? I'll use the coordinating die to cut this out. Again, if you're interested in this set, I highly recommend picking up the dies to go along with it. And this is the, the Clear Stamp and Die of the Month set is one of the more inexpensive kits of the month. I love this club kit. Here it is all cut out. I'm going to glue a piece of black cardstock onto my white card base, leaving another white border. I'm using my Barely Arts Precision Glue for this. This is going to be a portrait orientation card. I pulled out a set that I used last month. Now this set is so fabulous. It's called Paint Your World Sentiments. There are so many different stamps that I use from this set on these cards. They coordinate beautifully with this uh, clear stamp and die of the month. But the one I'm using says my favorite color is rainbow and I'm going to heat emboss that with some white embossing powder. So I'll melt this with my heat tool and it turns nice and bright white. Then once that has dried, I'll use a tissue just to buff off the anti-static powder so it's nice and black again. Okay, so let's pop up our color wheel, the top of this card. The flowers come from a set called Be Bold Blooms, and it came out earlier this year from Spellbinders. I'm obsessed with this set. I love it. I use it all the time. I used one of the smaller flowers and leaves from this set. I'm just going to glue these down in the middle of the color wheel. I added a few crystal gems. They look white around this panel to kind of bring out the white of the sentiment and the white around the edges. And here it is all done. So again, this is just another any occasion note card to send out. Okay, on to the next card. We're going to use this darling image of the thread and the bobbin. And I'm going to stamp it all over this panel. I'm using some Copic Friendly ink. So I can do a little bit of Copic coloring on this panel. So I'm going to rub the stamp, clean off the stamp a little bit. And then I'm, it's still kind of dirty, so I'm being careful just to place it exactly where I want it so I don't get ink smudges around this panel. Then I'll just keep stamping away on this panel till it's completely filled up with these darling bobbins. And here is the last one. I like to go off the edge so it looks like the pattern continues. And here it is. Okay, I'm going to pull out some Copic markers. For each bobbin, I'm using two different Copic markers, a dark and a light. So let's start with a dark yellow. I'm just going on the edges of the bobbin thread. This was really fast and easy coloring, but the effect is just darling. We'll just do some flick marks in toward the center of the bobbin. And then for the highlight, I'm using the lighter color. I'm just going back and forth, kind of blending out the edges of the darker yellow. And that's it. I'll move on to the next color. Let me put the lids back on these. And then next, we're going to use pink colors. So again, I'll start with the dark pink around the edges and the light pink for the highlight. Next is a teal color. I had to get a little bit of teal in there. I love my teal as well as my pinks. 
And then next I'm going to use some purples. And of course you can use whatever art medium you'd like to do this. Colored pencils would be fun. I'm using kind of a purpley blue on this next one. And then of course I had to use a red, it just needed a little bit of red on this panel. And last I'm going to use a green. Now it looks cute like this, but I do end up bringing in some grays for the tops and the bottoms of these bobbins. And this just helps to bring it up off of the white paper. It gives it a little more dimension and helps lift the images up off of the panel. Next, I'm going to use a piece of kind of a dark purple cardstock and glue this panel down onto it. I cut it down so it's a little bit smaller than an A2 sized card. I love the purple around the edges. This is such a fun and colorful card. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this down onto the card base using more liquid glue. I already stamped out my bobbin image, the plain one, and cut it out with the coordinating die. And I wrapped some pink embroidery floss around this. Then I'm adding little foam squares to the top and the bottom of this. I'm going to attach it to some heavyweight vellum that I cut out into a circle. This will help it kind of stand out from the other bobbins that I stamped out on this panel. I'll add some black and white baker's twine to the top of this bobbin and I'm going to tie it in a bow. These would make great tags too. There's so much you can do with this set. It's so much fun. So next I'll attach the sentiment to the bottom of this bobbin. I love this one that says stitched with love. I use that a lot. <laughs> I'll add glue behind the bobbin so you can't see it from behind the vellum and glue this down at the side and then I can go ahead and cut off the overhang. I added a few sequins and here is a close-up look at the finished card. This would be a great card to send out to a crafty friend who loves to embroider or loves to do any of the yarn arts. Okay so on this card I already die cut the color wheel into the panel. This is some more of the lunar gray cardstock and I embroidered around it with some variegated embroidery floss. I also used the flower from the small die of the month. These pieces are going to be the leaves for my giant flower on the middle, in the middle of this card. But before I attach my greenery, I am going to stamp out my sentiment using the Paint Your World stamp set again. I'll use some anti-static powder at the bottom of this gray cardstock and some clear VersaFine ink. So this sentiment is going to say, create something every day. I'll heat emboss it with more white embossing powder. And the white embossing powder looks really beautiful on this gray cardstock. This was a pretty fast card to do as well. I wanted to do something a little different on this card, so I'm going to use my corner chomper at the top and the bottom corners of this panel. Just opposing corners here, and I'll do the same to the card base. I'm going to glue this panel down flat. I'm not worried too much that it puts a little bit of bulk behind my embroidery work, but the glue will keep it down in place. I will add a little bit of glue on the yellow tape in the middle of this, as well as kind of into the embroidery work. And then just place this down on the card base. So I'll add small foam squares behind the leaves. This small one I'm going to attach up at the top corner. And then the larger one at the bottom.
I'll attach a single gemstone in the center of this flower. And here is a close-up look. Isn't that just beautiful and simple? My last card, I'm going to do something very similar. I'm just using the color will die without the edge to cut it out on the center of this yellow cardstock. This is called Chamomile Yellow from Spellbinders. This is another of their new ones. And I used seven different colors of pink embroidery floss. This time I'm just going to stamp out the sentiment with some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And this says Create Happiness. I used the Small Die of the Month little extra bits again for the leaves for this giant flower. This time I'm going to chomp all four edges so that they're just a little bit softer. And this is a half inch chomp. And of course I'll do the same to my white card base. You can do these after they're glued together, but I like to do it before just to make sure I get nice, smooth chomps or cuts. And then we'll use more liquid glue on this. I used a lot of tape when I embroidered this flower or color wheel. Let's place that onto the white card base. And again, I'm going to pop these up with foam squares. I don't know which one I like better, the gray or the yellow one. And here is a close-up look at the last card. I used a pink gemstone on the center of this flower. So again, this is the Clear Stamp and Die of the Month Club Kit from Spellbinders called Stitched Color Wheel. This one, I'm sure, will sell out fast. I had so much fun with this. Thanks so much for spending some of your time with me. I will, of course, link all of the products that I use to create these cards in the description box if you're interested in checking out any of them. I'll be back with another video really soon using another May Club Kit from Spellbinders. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful, crafty day. Bye.